Gordon Brown was born in Ingifnock, Renfrewshire, Scotland in 1951. At the age of 16 Brown was accepted into the University of Edinburgh to study history. During an end-of-term rugby union match at his old school, he received a kick to the head and suffered a retinal detachment. This left him blind in his left eye, despite treatment including several operations and weeks spent lying in a darkened room. Brown graduated from Edinburgh with first-class honours my degree in history in 1972, and stayed on to obtain his PhD. In 1976 Brown became a lecturer in politics at the Glasgow College of Technology, he also tutored at the Open University. In the 1979 general election, Brown stood for the Edinburgh South constituency, losing to the Conservative candidate, Michael Ancrum. Brown was elected to Parliament on his second attempt as a Labour MP for Dunfermline East in 1983 general election where he became the opposition spokesman of trade and industry. He later became Shadow Chief Secretary to the Treasury from 1987 to 1989, and then Shadow Secretary of State for Trade and Industry. Before becoming Shadow Chancellor in 1992, Brown was also known for leading the Labour Movement Yes campaign, fighting for Scottish independence. He signed the Claim of Right for Scotland in 1989. In 1994, after the death of Labour leader, John Smith, Brown did not stand for party leadership deciding to make way for Blair. It has long been rumoured a deal was struck between Blair and Brown of the party leadership at the former Granita restaurant in Islington, in which Blair promised to give Brown control of economic policy in return for Brown not standing against him in the leadership election. In 1997, Tony Blair, the new Prime Minister, appointed Brown as Chancellor of the Exchequer. He would remain in this role for ten years and two months making him the longest-serving chancellor in modern history. Brown pledged to not increase the basic or higher rates of income tax. Over his chancellorship, he reduced the basic rate from 23% to 20%. In 1999, he introduced a lower tax band of 10%. He abolished this 10% tax band in his last budget in 2007 to reduce the basic rate from 22%. 20% increasing tax for 5 million people, leaving those earning between 5,000 and 18,000 as the biggest losers. Conservatives have accused Brown of imposing stealth taxes. The Treasury contends that this tax change was crucial to long term economic growth. In 2000, Brown massively expanded government spending, particularly on health and education. Brown also gave an extra $3 billion in pension allowances an increase in the Dutch tax credit, and an increase in the working tax credit. In October 2004, Tony Blair announced he would not lead the party into a fourth general election, but would serve a full third term. Brown was the clear favourite to succeed Blair. He was the only candidate spoken of seriously in Westminster. He also made many appearances, and had a vast amount of news coverage. These were interpreted as preparing the ground for Brown to become Prime Minister. Brown signalled that his most important priorities as Prime Minister would be education, international development, and winning hearts and minds in the war on terrorism. On 27 June 2007, Brown became Prime Minister after Blair's resignation. He is the sixth post-war Prime Minister, of a total of 12, to assume the role without having won a general election. Brown was the first Prime Minister from a Scottish constituency since the Conservative Sir Alec Douglas in 1964. And like all the Prime Ministers, he was not going to have an easy ride.